Hi friends, how are you today? I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful, amazing, gorgeous day. Welcome to my living room. We have a little bit of a change in scenery today. Sorry if you see my cats running around. I'm sitting on the floor, but what's new, right? They're always here. But yes, I welcome you to my living room. If you guys don't know me, my name is Jade. I am an artist. I haven't gone to art school. I just like to do this for my fun, free time anyways. Uh, yeah, so this channel basically is just me doing anything and everything fun and creative in my pastime <laughs> and it's just kind of my journey throughout being creative and uh today is no exception but i am doing things a little bit different so usually what i like to do i like to sit out plan you know my art pieces because usually they have lots of like deep intricate thoughts and like healing within it and stuff like that however with today, fun little story, I was absolutely fucking obliterated high out of my mind and I was on Pinterest as one does and I was just scrolling through and I found one of the most wonderful abstract artists that I have ever seen in my entire life. Like genuinely so crazy talented. You guys may know her if you're familiar with Pinterest at all or TikTok. I don't really know the girl's name, but she, uh, it's like a V and a question mark. I'll definitely put up some of the pictures of hers that I found on Pinterest, but usually I'm not a girl that likes, um, abstract art. It's not that I don't like it. I just am not very good at it. <laughs> and so I've never really explored that route. I did in high school do one abstract piece because we needed to, and it wasn't even great. Like... It was inspired by my grandfather who had passed, but I definitely don't think I did it justice or did him justice like he deserved. So uh, I feel like today is going to kind of be like my comeback to that as like trying to do abstract art, but in my own way. Um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the experience because I haven't done abstract art in literally years like maybe three four or five years so this is something kind of different and super fun for me i feel like what better way to share with you guys than my me going at it you know me trying to do this abstract art piece and i'm really really excited i'm still going to do the same thing that i usually do with all of my pieces you might not know this but um i like to hit the pendermen super fucking hard and just go at it. Just really get in the zone, play some tunes, maybe watch some TV and just let my mind go crazy. That's what I like to do when I'm in my creative space. Uh, some people don't have to or don't get under the influence, but I find that once I am uh, a few hits off of Penderman, um, once I'm in that space, I feel like I'm able to unlock different parts of my mind that my regular sober brain can get to. And so in that, I'm able to really just explore a lot with my creative space. And that's why I feel like I make cool pieces that really mean a lot to me. To you, it's probably just like, ah, oh, this girl's like just doing whatever. But to me, all of my pieces have lots of like thoughts. Like literally, if you look at a piece, with as like with most artists each color piece everything in that painting has a purpose and i feel like i'm only really able to do that unless i'm on, under the influence obviously i've done plenty of paintings without being like that but for this one specifically i feel like it'd be a really fun challenge to me to just take some hits off of pinderman and attempt to do this damn abstract art because girly that is not one of my strong suits i need something with like form and shading because i don't know how to make blobs look good do you know how to make blobs look good no but i'm sure as hell gonna try so yeah that's what i'm here today i'm definitely not going to show you me hitting pendermen because that's cray cray i would I don't even have any monetization, but I'm sure they would definitely knock that off right then and there if I were to hit Penderman. But just know, once you see me getting crazy, just know. She up here, fried. But anyways, I feel like I've had a long enough intro. I just am so excited to go in and go ham crazy. So with a lot of her stuff, I have noticed that the blending is really, really beautiful. I feel like 
the best way for me to do that is um if you don't do this already you definitely should i am not always like <laughs> doing this but you should um especially if you have store-bought canvases you should always get like some gesso and just go all over it uh, as like a base because let me show you when you're working with canvases especially that are bought from the store if you look up close there's like a texture to it and there's holes in there and with that it can get really difficult for blending so this gesso kind of acts like a primer for paintings. So it's like, if you're like face makeup, this is your primer for your face. Primer for this. I'm sure all of you know what the fuck a primer is, but basically that's what this is. So I'm gonna go in with this gesso on the top. That way I think that it will blend a lot easier. I have not used this gesso in a while because <laughs> usually I'm sure if you're familiar with my channel I usually primarily work with illustrations so like <laughs> pens pencils prismacolor like that's usually what I do or like fashion which I haven't really done a ton of fashion fun fact I actually don't have a sewing machine but anyways um so usually I like to do illustrations but I was so inspired by this girl I just knew that this week I had to try it <music> today i really hope you enjoyed my video i genuinely had such a good time just letting my mind have full control of my painting today really has no meaning i just wanted to see if i can make a really cool abstract painting and honestly i feel like this is one of the coolest paintings that i've ever done i'm totally going to do more of these in the future full credit to the artist that i was inspired from she is just absolutely amazing for coming up with this i don't even know if she was the original creator she was the first one that i saw with an art style like this and it just it makes my heart so happy i genuinely had such a good time if you liked this video please let me know by leaving a like or subscribing i would love to have you here but again that's all from me for this week i really really enjoyed my time goodbye friends <laughs>